I am going to introduce this presentation by quoting Jackie Craven, an author and columnist with a broad background in the humanities. The Gothic style, dating from approximately 1100 to 1450, stirred the imagination of painters, poets and religious thinkers in Europe and Great Britain. From the remarkable Great Abbey of Saint-Denis in France, to the Altsnenuch synagogue in Prague, Gothic churches were designed to humble man and glorify God. Yet, with its innovative engineering, the Gothic style really was a testament to human ingenuity. As you can guess and see, I chose to make a Gothic church. I chose this type as I think it is one of the most aesthetically pleasing architectures of medieval times and it is interesting to work with. It displays a truly incredible engineering work and shows how the great minds of the time came together for such things. I also chose to make it on the game Minecraft as I used to be very familiar with it and had some experience in large buildings and recording good footage. This platform also allows you to create without needing the crafty skills I don't have. I hope you appreciate this building as it took a lot of time and research to make. Let's get into more detailed description and explanation. It is a gothic church for numerous reasons. First of all, it has a cross-shaped layout, characteristic of the medieval times and found in the great majority of gothic churches and cathedrals as you can see here on this document. You can also notice that there is a cemetery. I added it as I noticed that most medieval churches had burial grounds, like the St. Andrew's Church. The exterior is loyal to gothic churches with its tower and textured walls. All the details on the exterior and interior walls are very characteristic of gothic churches. You can also see the different pillars around the walls that were needed for support at the time. Then, the interior is a straight hall with small wings on the sides to make the cross shape, with colourful large windows. The seats are arranged in two large columns with a huge cross at the end of the hall. You also have arches all the way through this hall. And all these features are very characteristic of Gothic churches, as you can see here with this picture of the Saint Severin Church in Paris. Thank you.